whoever's watching this video right now, and you lost money with FTX, in whatever way, shape, or form, right? If you feel like you got dirty by this Sam Bank Bankman fried dude, whatever this curly hair, screech looking ass dude. If that's who you blaming, you got life twisted, man. You got people out there like Jeremy from Financial Education, like me, Kevin, like Andre Juggle These Bulls, and uh, Graham Stephan, right? Who was on the internet selling their soul. Selling their soul for money, just like I just told you, alpha status was just like all these other clowns that take money to pump bullshit that they don't even care about, that they're not really in, and um, they sell their soul. That's what these people do. So, um, the faster you people understand that, right, and the faster you start seeing the difference, right, between people really investing their hard-earned money into stocks that they talk about on the internet because there's a lot of them there's a lot of youtubers that actually believe in the companies that they invest in and they come here and let you guys know about it but people that sell their soul and come on the internet right say alpha status for instance he was coming on here selling a whole bunch of garbage that he didn't care about, that paid him money. And he would go through this whole video, right? This whole 20 minute video. And at the end, right? Right at the end, the last sentence where 90% of people already clicked out the video. He would say, oh, it's a, this, oh by the way, this is a sponsored video. By the way, this is a sponsored video. You think that makes it right? Huh? These people are disgusting, man. Listen. Will this screech dude get arrested? Or whatever's gonna happen? I think the blame should fall on all these other YouTubers, all these other politicians, and all these clowns that was pumping his garbage and that they let this foolio play all of them he played everybody everybody did everybody filthy and one thing that i always do you know before i invest in the company i like to judge a book by its cover right i have to i have to the, the saying goes you shouldn't do that but I always do that. I have to do it. And that got me through a lot of situations that got me to where I was able to make the right judgments in a lot of situations. Some weren't, but for the most part, I definitely make the correct assessments when I look at somebody. So when i look into a company first thing i do is google the ceo what does this fool look like what does this bozo look like and if i would have just googled this dude's face right if i wanted to invest in ftx or whatever or the coin i would have looked at him and saw that this dude is a scamming bullshit artist you could just look at his face look at his eyes fooled everybody the scam of the century man. you think madoff did something listen madoff lost a lot more money but the way that he did this right he did this within a year or two this Bankman dude fooled everybody within a year or two with the help of all these YouTubers. 
Madoff, it took time, man. Madoff was, it was a whole different story with Madoff, but this dude here, man, and the way he set it up, he covered all his tracks where, what could they really arrest him on? This is all unregulated garbage. I've been telling you guys about crypto to be careful with it. Um, this is all unregular, unregulated bullshit that the feds aren't going to give a shit. He's not going to get arrested for anything, for anything. He covered his tracks. He knew what he was doing. Worst case scenario. He's still chilling. He has hundreds of millions of dollars and he's chilling the rest of his life in the Bahamas or the Bermuda, whatever he's at. And nobody's going to do anything. But in my opinion, the real blame should go to these YouTubers, man. That take money to pump garbage that they don't care about. They sell their soul. Listen, anybody could come on here and make a mistake, right? And make a bad judgment on an investment. But if it's something that they believe in that went wrong, right? It is what it is. That's what happens. It's called investing. Not everybody's going to make the right calls 100% of the time. But when you take money to sell bullshit that you don't care about, you're a disgusting human being. If you're on this internet and you're talking about something that you're being paid to do, it's nasty work this is people's money it's not like you you're promoting a sneaker company or you're promoting this when you're promoting investments right that you come on here and you act like you generally mess with them but you're really doing it just because they're paying you or else you wouldn't give a crap about it that's nasty work man be careful with these people with who you watch on youtube it's disgusting, man. They're not going to get him for anything, in my opinion. He's off in the sunset. Everybody's all, he lost 15 billion one day. It was never his, really. Just because that's his net worth, that doesn't mean that's money in his pocket. But what he will have is hundreds of millions of your money that these youtubers help push out there and help convince you to put your money into and now he's chilling on the islands um living his best life because they can't touch him they can't they can't touch him but these youtubers it's on you it's on you guys to um let them know how you feel and to at least try to put an end to it, man. At least try it, man. See, I wouldn't mind, like, I would, if I had a sponsor, a sneaker or a, or a jacket or any clothes sponsor, something material, something that wouldn't cost people a lot of money, I wouldn't mind. But for a company to pay me to push their garbage that I wouldn't care about or I wouldn't never invest in if it wasn't for the fact that they're paying me, I would never do that. I would never do that and I would never invest into a company that the CEO of that company would do that. That's desperate. That's desperation at its finest. And that's scamming nasty work at its finest. You guys think Steve from AITX would ever pay anybody to pump his stock? Or the Eyeless CEO? Or Dennis? You think they're worried about paying people to pump their garbage? No. They're worried about their business and their products. But the people that have nothing, that have garbage, a garbage company, that's who 
do everything they can to get other people to push their bullshit. Pay attention, man. Pay attention. It's nasty. Nasty work. And now they're all here apologizing. Oh, I'm sorry. Try to make it. Oh, I didn't know. I'll apologize. I think it's sorry. Because one's apologize gonna doesn't make it better, bro. Apologize. Apologize till you push the next bullshit that pays you. That you don't give a crap about, right? You apologizing until you push the next bullshit stock that's paying you to talk about their garbage, right? Or oh, hit the moo moo link. Or oh, hit this. Or oh, hit. Uh, yo, it's disgusting, man. For pennies, use the promo code. Or the, yo, nasty, man. Nasty work, man. And it's like, yo, they all think they're like some slick salesmen. But it's like, I've been around that my whole life, man. I've been doing it my whole life. I could, I just, I wouldn't be able to do that. I don't have it in me to come on here and push garbage that I don't care about just because they're paying me. Like, how do I look? I wouldn't be able to look myself in the mirror. I would never, never be able to do it. Like, just be careful. I just wanted to come on here. You know, to hopefully save somebody from uh, a couple dollars from listening to these bozo YouTubers on here. Salute.